Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss trisect an angle. Trisect an angle means dividing the given angle into three equal divisions or three equal parts of the angle. I am taking for example two cases. In first case, the given angle I am taking 60 degrees. In second case, I am taking the angle is 58 degrees. Now here we have to divide this into three parts. So 60 divided by 3 means 20 degrees. Okay, each part is 20 degrees. Now initially mark this angle, 60 degrees angle. Okay, now by using the scale I did one line here. By using the protractor, this line should coincide with this baseline. And uh, mark is 60 degrees here. Okay, this is 60. So I got this point. I have joined this point to this point for getting this line. Now this angle is 60 degrees. So by using compass, take any radius. Okay, no need to measure. Just mark the angle like this. Okay, this angle is 60 degrees. Now here our main aim is we need to divide this 60 degrees into three parts. As I told it is each part is 20 degrees. By using this protractor we can mark 20 degrees initially from 0 to 20 initially. Here one point after that from 20 to 40 20 degrees. First 20 next 20 next 20. We got these two points join these two points with the initial point. Now here this angle is 20, this angle is 20, this angle is 20. By using the protractor we have marked these three divisions. Now mark the angle 20 degrees again this angle is 20 degrees and this angle is 20. Keep the arrows at both sides. Okay, so we have divided this angle 60 degrees into three equal divisions. After the first one, take the next one, the given angle is 58 degrees. Now we have to trisect this 58 degrees divided by 3. Okay, how much it is? Let us do with Kelsey. This angle is 19.3 degrees. Is it possible to mark 19.3 degrees by using the protractor here we can see 10 degrees 20 degrees 19 means this line okay before 20 here 19 so between 90 and 20 so this 19.3 will come okay we can't exactly mark 19.3 19 we can mark correctly okay for marking this angle we can't use this protractor okay initially mark this angle given angle after that i will show how to mark this angle okay, let us take initially do this line baseline initially by using the scale Okay, here I will do some length line. Here I am marking O initial point. Now mark this given angle 58 by using this protractor. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. This is 58. So this is join this point to this initial point. Now this angle is 58 degrees by using compass. Take any radius here, just do an arc here, okay, which is joining this line and this line. So this angle is 58. Now we need to trisect this. We can't mark 19.3. We can mark 19, but 0.3 we can't mark. Okay, for it we are following trial and error method. Okay, for trial and error method, you can take 19 degrees. Okay, initially more than 19 we can take. So how to take more than 19 means take any one of the point between. 19 and 20 one point okay we don't know exactly how much it is join this point to O by using the scale and this angle is 19 point some value so it is the trial and error method for it just do one horizontal line after some gap take the initial point here okay on it we will mark this length measure this length by using the compass whatever length is coming you mark this length on the horizontal line from the initial point just do an arc here this is a first trial by using this first trial we have marked one point one part second part and then third part take this point as center do the third one so after dividing into three parts some more length has remaining here okay it is exactly not touching the last point so here this is the last line it should touch the last line 
for dividing into three parts. So by using this first trial, we can't divide into three parts. It has some remaining length. That's why we have to take more than this length. Take the next length more than this. Approximately take some length. Okay. By using compass, measure that length. Okay. Whatever length is coming more than the first trial. This is the second trial. Okay. Take this point as center. Do an arc. And next, take this point as center. Do another arc. Take this point as center. Do another arc. It is touching exactly at the end point. Okay, so we have divided into three equal divisions. Join these two intersection points to the initial point by using the scale. Do a line here. Here also join with initial point. So exactly we got the last point here. So we have divided into three equal divisions. So mark the given angle 19.3 degrees. Keep the arrows at both sides for each part. Mark 19.3 here. 19.3 degrees here also 19.3 degrees so total angle is 58 degrees okay this is the second trial so in the second trial we got exact values okay with this length so each angle is 19.3 degrees so in the first trial here some part of the arc has remaining length okay by using this length that's why we took some more length for covering that remaining arc okay by using it we did three equal divisions let us assume in second trial also we didn't get three equal divisions at that time we have to take one more length third trial it is called take that length and divide into three divisions okay equal divisions like that we have to try that's why this method is called trial and error method sometimes we will get in second trial correct value sometimes in fourth trial we are getting the correct value so this trial and error method we are using for marking these angles those angles can't measure by using the protractor these are the methods of trisecting an angle by using the protractor as well as by using trial and error method.